Hey everyone, I just want to give a quick tip for figuring out if your data is in the right format for starting to build data visualizations, dashboards, that sort of thing. Um, this isn't a comprehensive data review kind of thing. It's just a quick tip for folks that maybe have a CSV file that they exported from something or an Excel file that they're trying to use. And maybe they're trying to build a dashboard in Excel or in a simple BI tool, something like Data Studio or Looker Studio is what it's now called. Um, this is just a quick first pass you can do to see if things are in the right format. So. I have an example here of what you don't want. This is federal student loan data I pulled, and it is age ranges on top, broken into dollars outstanding and borrowers, and then shown by debt size. This is not gonna work. And the way we know that, and a quick way to tell, is that it has two headers. So our first header here is an age range, the secondary header beneath it is breaking that age range into two categories. We can't have that when we upload files in most BI tools or when we do most forms of data visualization. Those tools require you have a single header. So that header has to be consistent and all of the, all of the values in the column below that header need to be in the same format. They can't have multiple values combined into one. There can't be any merged cells or anything. It just has to be consistent and clean. Um, so that's uh, the second thing to look out for here is merged cells. I just mentioned that, no merged cells. If you see merged cells in your table anywhere, it's probably gonna be an issue. Uh, particularly if you have merged cells that are trying to break things into category, subcategories, it's just, that's not gonna work. Every Each cell has to have a specific value, no values combined, no merged cells across different columns, none of that, just a clean table. Columns, rows, single value in each thing. So what would we do in this case to turn this into something we could actually use for building data visualizations? It's actually pretty simple. So as I mentioned, this is showing age ranges and then dollars outstanding and borrowers broken down by debt size, right? But we have two headers here. This, this uh, age range header is making this table too complex and our BI tools or Excel dashboard, like if we're building a pivot table, it's not gonna know how to handle this. So we have to put these age ranges into a column. They have to, they have to be a column. And that can confuse people because they're like, wait, but I have multiple age ranges and then multiple debt sizes, like how would I do this? So it's, it's quite simple. For each of these debt size ranges that we have here, this is our column with debt size range. It's kind of what we've broken down this whole table by. We're gonna have to have one, two, three, four, five entries a separate entry for each age range. So what does that look like? We go from a table here that has one entry per debt size range to a table here where we have one, two, three, four, five entries, each representing each age category. And what we've done now is we've created a table where we have a single header and in that header, every single value is in the same format and it's consistent. This will now actually work. When we try to make a pivot table out of it, we try to make pivot charts out of it, when we start working with this, it's gonna work. Or when we try to upload it to a BI tool, it's not gonna break the, you know, break the system and the BI tool will actually know what to do with this information here. So, simple rule. Check to make sure you only have a single header and check to make sure you don't have merged cells all over the place that are being used to categorize things. If you have either of those, you need to restructure your table so that you have a single header and within each column beneath that header, you have a consistent set of values that are all in the same format and re represent the same granularity. And what I mean by that by granularity is that each of these columns represents a particular debt size for a particular age category and it shows the dollars and dollars outstanding and borrower counts for that particular age category and debt size. So there's multiple debt sizes here, but for each debt size, there's an age category. And anytime you add a debt size, you have to also add a age category and you have to keep that consistent. If you mix that up or make it confusing or do something above like this, where you have multiple columns representing the same things categorized by a merge cell above it, it's not gonna work. So keep it clean, keep it consistent, and you'll be in good shape, and you'll be able to use it in most tools that you're using. Anyway, hope that helps everyone. Thanks so much. Have a good one.